I think social media is going to have a massive impact on the next uh, general elections. If you look at the last general elections in 2008, uh, you saw that um, blogging uh, had a tremendous impact then in terms of shaping people's uh, minds, opinion, um, spreading news and information. Um, now all that, now blogging is largely, you know, passe. It's still there, uh, but it's not at the forefront of social media. You've got all sorts of new um, platforms and applications uh, from the more traditional traditional now, Facebook, Twitter, to new stuff like Pinterest, uh, Google+, uh, Instagram even. People are not going to wait till the end of the day to watch the news. They're not going to wait till the next day to read the newspapers. They want, they're going to want to know today. What's happening today? What does my candidate have to say today? What do the candidates standing in my area have to say today? And I think social media is going to have a great impact. You have to, you have to look at internet penetration. You have to look at the number of people becoming more and more connected in Malaysia. So many people have smartphones. So many people have access to the internet. Uh, and that alone tells you that if you're not on social media, if you're not getting your message out on social media, um, then you're going to pay for it in the elections. As a politician, I read everything. I read petty tweets, I read tweets which are serious because I need to get a, a sense of the nation, a sense of the, put my finger on the real pulse of the nation. Look, not everybody, not every Malaysian talks about something serious 24-7, 24 hours of the day. You want to talk about something fun, you want to talk about something petty. So you have to accept this as the entire national conversation. So yes, there are stuff that's petty, yes, there's stuff that's absolute rubbish, but you have to understand that that is the ecosystem that you operate on.